Okay, so we're just gonna use the cameraman to hold the glass up while I slide this in, but this is gonna go in here and then we'll refilm from there. So just hit pause if you like. Okay, so what we're doing here, he's holding the glass. Don't do that. <laughs> We've just put the window regulator in. So we're gonna do these bolts in to hold it into place. Now where my thumb is here, this is going to drop the glass in and it will click into this little piece here nice and easily. And then I'm going to connect the wiring and we're good to go. Alright, so these bolts have just been done up uh, tight. Now we're going to slide the glass down just ever so gently. Slide it down. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Here we go, we're good. You can see that it's clicked in there nicely. Yep. So, alright, so that glass is secure, it's in, it's not going anywhere. Now this is the connector for the window, for the motor. That's in, that's good. This is for the door handle, so that's just pretty straightforward. This is the power window switch, and then this is the uh, door lock. So now we're going to start putting all this together. But before we do, we'll put this skin back on. Now, look, you can glue it all if you want, but look at this. This is like sticky stuff. You don't really need to do that. All right. Let's put uh, where's this one go. Hang on. It's going to go there. Just make sure these are tight. This one's a bit annoying here, just is what it is. Oh, that's my little tape. Alright, so that's that. Alright, beautiful. Alright, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, now the fun part, take this tape off. Alright, now this is a bit tricky. See this door handle? I'm going to push the handle up so that it's in position. Okay, because if it's here, it won't work. So it's going to be in. What we have to carefully do, this should just clip in here, under there, and there you go. Door handle is in. Mm. From memory, this is a bit tricky. This is the Power window switch. It can only go in one way, so you can't really stuff it up. Let's see. Sorry about this. Let's see it. There we go. Okay, we're in. Alright, so window is in, door handle is in, uh, this little, I don't know what you call that. Okay, what we're going to have to do here is carefully get it in the track. Okay, it's snug. You can feel it lock in. So everything on here is the reverse of what we're doing now. Um, door handle, 
that one is going there. Now these are all e-torques. If you can zoom in on that, it's like a little star shape. This one's a bit knackered. But I'm gonna put the door handle in. Wow, cheap Chinese rubbish. Okay, as you can see, this is a cheap tool, but look at that, it's just mashed it. Lucky, we have King Chrome. These are much better quality. T20 is the size you need. One more screw, which goes in this side. I think it would be better to use a um, like a socket style e-torx for this, like I was using, just not a cheap one, because um, this this is uh, working, but it's just tight. Yeah, it's done. It's done. That's good. Let's check there's no other screws going on. Okay. Now put the handle on. This has just got little tabs, it's not really that hard. That's it. Now put this bad boy on. And, and everything that you see here, that you've seen me do, to take it off is the exact reverse, that's it. think all right all done um, now we've got to program this which is to make sure that the window and the remote here and the remote and the driver side knows exactly where the glass is in relation to the frame so the way to do that is you will use the master control on the driver side and you will hold it down um, for about five or six seconds um, and wait for the window to to be where it should be and then you'll do up and hold it again for six, six or so seconds to make sure it's up. So I'll just go and do that now and hopefully that should be it.